Okay, this video is going to try to do two things. I'm going to make a brand new file. To make a new file, press Control and the letter N. Hold your Control key and press the letter N for new. And there are going to be two things I'm going to do here. I'm going to review shortcut keys. Now I know that a lot of you who watch these videos are very advanced, so you don't have to watch it. And then the second thing, I'm going to discuss a corporate C O R corporate credit versus project. <laughs> oh, finance credit. I haven't drank a lot today. I just can't spell. I'm just getting old. Okay? Those are the two things we're going to discuss. And here's why I'm going to discuss those. First, I would just taught a nice class in Pakistan. I do go there. It's nice. They give me a, like a, a hat. I had to wear a hat from Pakistan as if you give a crap. But it was kind of a nice picture. I loved it. Then, but the people in the class said, look, if you have a class, I can't remember anything the next day. You go through this and it's only a two-day class or sometimes a seminar. I can't even remember anything. So I said, oh, no, 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 you can go to the website and look how to make those shortcut keys we went over. And I realized I don't have a really good video on the shortcut keys. And at the same time, I'm going to do this in the context of corporate credit and, and project finance credit, because that's what we were discussing. And in this file, I just made, I, this is the second kind of series in a video, I added some things. I said, well, individuals are in, inside the corporations. That's assets inside the corporation. A bankruptcy occurs in a corporation, like the city of Detroit, when things kind of get bad for the individual units. People get poor, people can't afford things. Whatever. And then you, you, you know, you have bad times. The city of Detroit doesn't go off the map. It just can't refinance. And then we talked about a, a family and a person goes through changes. A person you can co compute a DSCR for, but you can't for, for, for a company. And we talked about the different kind of ratios. This wonderful thing about the DSCR. But you don't, and then uh, about why the DSCR should be different if you have different walks and all this. But here's the big thing. There are continuing CapEx in corporations. There are large bullet payments. There's no customizing of repayments in debt service uh, to meet cash flow. Okay. Uh, and so we can re reconcile kind of EBITDA with CFADs, this is project finance, this is more corporate finance. We understand that EBITDA is not a good measure of cash flow because it doesn't incorporate all of these things. And then I have a little example of debt to capital and I said, well, here's the difference. Debt to capital in project finance measures the skin in the game. Debt to capital in corporate finance measures your buffer of, of the asset value going down, kind of. And, that one comes from the cash flow, one comes from mixing the cash flow and the, the, the balance sheet, the other one comes from the straight the balance sheet. Oh, i got to do this because this was that horrible Korean class I had. I hated it. Okay, and uh, this, we put this one and this one and we press OK. And then we go and we say, well, the key point about credit ratios is that you need to understand why you compute the ratio, not just compute it. And you can't apply the same credit ratios for different companies with different risk. And you can't boil down credit risk to a simple formula. That's the big deal. Okay, here's the statistics. That's a wonderful little quote. Okay, and so what I'm going to do right here is insert a page that illustrates, and I think I'll do it right here. This, this, I'm going to insert a page right here and demonstrate our corporate finance versus project finance. And here's how I'm going to do it. We're going to start with some shortcut keys. The first shortcut key 
Let, I'll, I'll, how about this? I'm going to list some of them. Shift and F11 for, for, for a new page. And if this video goes a little bit long, and then shift space bar, shift control insert for a new line. Shift and space, and, and then, then shift control, and then the plus sign. That's if you've got an English computer. And then uh, this is for a, how about I'll, I'll Go over here, and this is for a new page, and this is for a inserting a line. Just bear with me, and then this, uh, uh, if we a control down, shift space, control down, control D to copy down. I'll put that and D. And this co this copies down. Now and then you can't press Control U. If you want to copy to the right, you select the area and then Control R, Control Z. Obviously, uh, maybe people don't know this. Uh, undo. Okay. And then I suppose I should do this. Control Y is to redo. Control Z is to undo. Control Y is to redo. And I didn't know some of these, most of these things. Okay, and then this was Control N, which I already showed you. And then don't worry, I'm doing this. And then so this this was shift control minus it uh, deletes the row so we put a space shift space bar control minus okay and so this uh, control n new page this is inserting a line and this is deleting a line okay so, and then this is copy down, and control R is copy to the right. Can't copy to the left. And after things are selected. And the, the way you selection, after selection. And the way we select is we uh, uh, press sh control, shift and right arrow, shift and left arrow. Okay, or shift down. Okay, that uh, makes selection. I don't, I'm not anti-mouse or anything, but this does, uh, 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 and this is new sheet. Okay, so let's make shift F11. Now we're going to make our little analysis. I'm going to put in the CFADS, and I'm going to make our EBITDA the same as the CFADS. So let's put 100. So let's press shift down, control D. Now, if I press shift control 1, it gives me a decimal. How about this, okay? And I'm not gonna... And then, uh, uh, how about this? Uh, it's gonna just take me too long to copy all of these, okay? And then you press shift control three to make it a date, shift control four to make it a currency, shift control five to make it a percent, shift control six to scientific, shift control seven, uh, color uh, uh, puts an underline around it. Shift Control Eight. I don't know what that does. So, oh well. Shift now Control Z a bunch of times, so we'll take all this away. Okay. So that's what we're going to do first. All right. The, and so those are some of the shortcut keys. 
Now, now I'm going to pretend we have a project that lasts for 20 years. So let's put the period. Now, one of the best things, and I didn't used to use this a lot, is you press 1, and then you, you can do a couple of things. You can select the area and press Control r We don't really want to do that. Or you can press Alt-E-I-S, Enter, and then it just does it so fast for you. And then 15, 16, 17, you notice up here it's telling us how many columns we had, or somewhere down here. Control Alt E, oops, Alt E, hands off the computer, hands off the computer, IS. So, I better remember down here, Alt E, IS. That's what I call everybody is sim everything is simple, everybody's stupid, Egyptian intelligence service. Somebody came up with a really good one. Oh, I forgot what it was. <laughs> Can't remember. Now, if you have this, we could do a couple of things. This is not a great idea, but since I'm not going to open my generic macros, every single thing here is just from regular old Excel. So I press Shift, Control, Spacebar. Okay, we better uh, space. That selects the entire line. Shift, control, right arrow goes all the way to the end. Control, zero just takes the whole thing away. Okay? Now, I'm going to also put a, a, uh, another thing where we put the, let's put a growth rate. And then we're going to get a little scientific. And we're going to put volatility. Okay, now, and I'm going to put 5%. Now, it, another nice little shortcut sometimes is I'm going to press Shift, Control, F3, and it names all the ranges. Shift, Control, F3. Okay, I'm going to have to finish this. This is going to be our Alt H O R, Alt H O R. That's the sheet name. That's not a very good one. Really. But uh, this is shortcuts. So we are going to put these in. Now, if we have, let's make our, our uh, okay, this is not a shortcut. Notice I like using the mouse here. These anti-mouse people get obsessed with this crap. I'm going to uh, uh, put all of our assumptions over here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, and let's okay, and let's shift spacebar, shift control plus. I'm naming the shortcuts as we go. And let's put project facts. And let's put CFADS. And in period one, this is not great, but we'll go to get the CFADS. Okay, now. If I would want to, if I go here, control space bar, and then use the mouse, not anti-mouse, make them all the same kind of thing, okay? And then we'll, we'll say, well, let's just take our last year uh, CFADS, no range name, plus the last year CFADS times the uh, first one plus the growth rate. Okay, that's the easy part. And then, plus the last year CFADS multiplied by the volatility multiplied by NORM SINV. That's an RAND and enter. No, press enter when you do this. And we put this plus E times times the volatility times norms. Uh, just a minute. Uh, one minute, one minute, one minute, oh, one minute. I should have just multiplied it by the growth rate. Excuse me for that. Okay, that's a little formula. It does a Monte Carlo simulation. If you, I hope I'm starting in the right place. I think I didn't switch the video back on. Oh, that was, was really bad. So I just I should have multiplied it by one plus growth. And this, was, this is a basic Monte Carlo simulation. If you put 10% in here, we get a much wider variation. If you put zero, it just gives you a straight growth rate. 
shift control right arrow shift control one to get our format back now I'm just gonna do project finance for now for project finance I'm gonna put a target oops target DSCR okay and for the target DSCR I'm gonna put one point let's put 1.3 and then we can put target debt service and you read I haven't done a shortcut key in in a whole long time so let's do one the target debt service is CFADS divided by this but how about we just name all the ranges again shift control F3 enter for this one and we see CFADS divided by debt service that's our initial DSCR and debt service now I'm not I'm not gonna have that vary I'm just gonna put our initial target debt service and then I'm gonna just shift control one take this and multiply it by one plus the the, the growth rate shift control one shift control right arrow control R and then we can put DSCR achieved and a DSCR achieved is just this divided by this okay shift control one shift ups no not shift control R shift control right arrow control R it's always the same but let's put some volatility in let's put five percent volatility in and then it goes up and down and if you go over to the formulas and click on calculate now that's like pressing the F9 function so sometimes it's it's getting below one so let's put our minimum DSCR and that measures the default okay and, and anybody who thinks Monte Carlo is complicated I don't know shift control one yeah I used to first time I saw it oh, wow there's it's going below one we have a default so we just would do this a thousand times kind of and and figure out what our default percentage is okay and that's supposed to illustrate kind of the project finance and of course a lot of uh, shortcut keys let's do a couple of things shift control right arrow shift control seven sh control B okay and now let's color things to color things you press the F5 key which is like a go-to key but there's a wonderful little thing at the bottom called special and then you go to constants and then you click off the text press OK and you go to the home tab and you find a color that you like and you just colored the inputs so we need to talk about uh, shift control one and all, all that oh and then I so I need to put F5 and, and special okay and I think uh, and the, oh no we need to do the base the biggest one of all I'm gonna delete this no no I'm gonna just select these shift control right arrow twice and then press F11 to make a graph again you're seeing the debt service and the, 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 the cash flow there are a whole bunch of ways to fix this graph I think I should have a separate video on F11 advanced F11 and then you press alt E L so let's remember that F11 and alt E and L and if you want the thing on the same page you press alt F1 it gives you then it gives you on the same page okay so those are some things for project finance and and now we're gonna make a corporate finance but but before I make this corporate finance one I'm going to stop the video because it's getting a little bit long okay